Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Hearts Man 4 Kaiserreich as Bulgaria. Let's continue on from where we last left off. So, we have begun an invasion of the Ottoman Empire. Because, you know, they're in the middle of the Kyber Pact War. So I thought this would be the best time to strike. Because I wanted this war to keep on going. Between Romania, Serbia, and other Romania, I want that just to live forever. Because right now, it's already killed like 250,000 men. And again, them weakening themselves... Only can benefit me. Keep pushing across. Uh, what do you want to call it? Just a straight? Yes, that's a good word for it. We got some more factories. Uh, we need more of this stuff first. So I'm hoping... This will create at least some... Not necessarily tension, but just some... I mean, we've got some big cities over here. You just keep on marching. Nicaragua and Honduras ended hostilities. That's okay. Send a cavalry division over here on that front. Yeah, because uh, the Ottomans just were not, I'm assuming, expecting a war with us. So it all worked out pretty, pretty, pretty well, I would say. I mean, war propaganda, 25 political power, pretty, pretty cheap. Got some resistance occupation, that's okay. Yeah, and they're trying to strategically remobilize their way over here. Not really working out for them so well. So, I mean, with this second front, like, you have to win, right? I maybe mean, want to send more... You know what? I'm going to deploy some of these troops. I guess I deployed all of them. It's not really what I want to do, but here we are. The three troops here. Put some troops there. Delete this in half and build one more line, but that's about it. Okay, yeah. So you guys uh, merge up. Make a definitive front line. Or like a Coisa front line. I mean, everybody on this front, for right now. Um, delete this plan. Make a front line here. Put you in charge, and then draw a defensive line to uh, Bucharest. So you all are looking pretty, pretty solid, I would say. Okay, please all stop. I mean, I want you to keep attacking. Everybody else could stop, though. Yeah, so you keep marching this way. You march to these cities. No, you march here and up and around like that. There we go. Still waiting on some uh, reinforcements to arrive. And of course, we want to shrink down the front line as much as possible. It already looks like, you know, Egypt and Iran have both already been pushing the Ottomans back. No, probably in a situation where I actually I do want to kind of just hold position. Everybody figure out where you want to be. You guys are kind of strategically deploying it way down to the south. But you know, as soon as Ottoman, the Ottomans are defeated, then it should make the war with the Belgrade Pact a lot simpler. 
you know, when it happens. And I actually, almost at this point, if it happens... Like, it's looking more and more likely that the war might actually just, like, not happen. Which, of course, is the best case scenario for me. Of Ardenopol. Which is just this. No, we're gonna push the Ottomans. War stability port goes down. Yeah, no, I think. Just this is not what we want. We want we want the city. And at this point, you know, I want them to lose anyways, because things are looking I mean they're looking pretty up for us right now. Like I don't think there's any real way the Ottomans could win this war. Like, I mean, these guys are not in great shape. Some of these guys are very, very weak. But, you know, we needed them for defensive purposes. You know, basically, you know, insurance. Okay, so keep on pushing your way through. You push here. You push here. I don't have a battle plan for you guys. So just, like, draw your line up to Turkey. There you go. I mean, we're doing pretty all right, I would say. Okay, you're trying to push your way through. You go up and around like that. So the Ottomans are at 56% capitulation. They'll capitulate when they have 0% or less. Holy hell. I didn't think it would be that bad. Also, you guys really... I thought you'd be pulling your weight a little bit more than you are. Okay, so we got an extra research slot. All that basically means is another research slot for me to have be like, I have no idea what to do with this research slot. Uh, let's get the air base. I want to at least fix our economic issues. How are you not dead yet? Yeah, did the did the troops down here? I mean, they had this island, so you know what? That's my own fault. I should have realized that. You all get down here right now. So you should be on the fence here. So Orange Army is slowly making their way across. I mean, slowly. So you have 40. Who's going here? Is it this infantry? Yes, you are. So you're going to make your way to them. We're basically winning all of our fights right now. We're almost at Ankara. Which I think is a pretty important city that we want to take. You're going to go to the islands. See if we can't make something work here. Why are you going there? What? I'm sure I must have misclicked something, but... The National Archive stops in 1934. It's a political power. Fantastic. You know, I won't say no to it. So you were almost dead. I mean, I should have I should have realized there were islands there. I thought the port was probably just, like, connected to this, but... I am just also dumb. 
We can't forget that part. Yeah, let's even get like a surround on these troops. We can get this around like that. If we get another sound like, th uh, like if we go right here, this makes my life significantly easier. Can you push your way on the roads, or is the roads gonna be a little bit too much for you? Okay, you're going back home. I think that's okay, honestly. These guys will all be defeated pretty soon. Okay, they don't have anywhere to retreat to, and they should start running out of supplies soon enough. And eventually, they're also going to be completely encircled. I have no idea how, I have no idea how many men there actually are here. Fantastic. So this... You just keep marching this way. This guy will die. No uh, real problem there. Yeah, you know what? You just stand there defensively. Until the war's over, we can- I mean, I was gonna say we can- I was gonna, Oh, they actually just left Rhodes. I was gonna say, we can just ignore Rhodes, but no, we need to actually capture every single goddamn victory point. And actually, I think they take over every single province the Ottoman Empire has. Which is ludicrous, but that's the situation we, uh, find ourselves in. Okay, so you guys all go back to where you need to be. The Ottoman Empire... Eh, they're still around. This guy will die here. Uh, all the people down here in the Levant should also you know, not be doing too hot, I would imagine. So, 48. Even with the encirclement and the low supply, they're still pretty strong. So, I mean, you guys are looking nice. This war they have just keeps on dragging on. But as soon as, yeah, as soon as this war is done, I think an invasion of... Like, I think the invasion of you makes more sense. You know, that's my gut feeling on this. Yeah, the Amas are putting more troops on our border. Not a huge surprise. Let's get uh, a level of decryption. Because right now, again, I really can't see what the AI is actually planning or thinking. Okay, yeah, so you're gonna move this way. You're gonna go straight like that. Capture both those provinces. And these guys should just... Please die a little bit faster. Thank you very much. Yeah, reinforcements first. We need to... Okay, yeah, you're here, you're fine. You're both here. Both assigned to this army. You're hanging out here, you're hanging out there. I don't see them doing anything too, too funky. Actually, probably want to assist with this attack. So you're going to march up across to there. El Salvador is joining the People's Vanguard. That's okay. So they're 58. Two divisions completely encircled. Should eventually die. No, you like no organization. That's not going to help you out very much. I mean, taking Icaro would be nice. Again, no matter what, we have to, um, you know, we have to win. That means we also have to take over goddamn Cyprus. Which is ludicrous. How are you going to do that? I have no idea. Maybe it's going to be an eternal occupation of, uh, the Ottoman Empire. No clue whatsoever. But 78... You're not doing too hot under your uh, current circumstances. I think you went from the mountains to the plain or to the hills. I mean, the hills are still pretty defendable, but significantly less so than the mountains. As soon as you go to the uh, plains, I am just going to attack you, just so you know, my friend. I mean, you can be there in two days. We'll see what happens. How are you losing this attack? You've actually, you're now willingly engaging in multiple combats. You're just making your own situation worse. Okay, 
so now you are going to be in a bad situation we killed two more divisions absolutely beautiful so again it's somewhere between 18 and 42 divisions so i would take a guess and say about 30. i always guess basically directly in the middle i'm sure that's completely wrong and that is just a random number but you know that's how the cookie crumbles that doesn't make any sense with what I said, but don't think about it too much. Yeah, so keep pushing this way. Cavalry Divisions, can you do some good work for us? I'm hoping the answer to that question is yes. Iran and Saudi Arabia are pushing their way pretty far up. Egypt's kind of still slacking behind, I would say. Unfortunately. Okay, apparently you are a little bit tougher than I would uh, like. So it's 72 here, and Kara is still kind of bad, but now, now he's going to be multiple. Oh, okay, it's not going to be multiple combat anymore. That's understandable. I mean, Kara is still kind of in. Eh, keeps slip flopping a little bit. Let's see if we can actually get this around on Kara, and then these a couple of uh, troops. I want you to move over in this direction. I want you to move up to here. Cavalry division. Yeah, you already have your plan. So should be good to go. Take this airport. There's nobody. There's no planes in it, but there could be theoretically in the future. So this is going to be capturing another three divisions, which is great for us. There you go. You finally figured it out. And now, I mean, you're not going to run out of supplies, I believe, but you're not going to be in tip-top shape. Okay, keep on pushing over here. Everything is looking nice for us. So Germany's now going to be involved in a war in uh, Indonesia. Is that going to help them at all? I'm going to go and probably say no, but why do we like go around like this? Go around to Adana. See if we can actually uh, capture all these troops again. The encirclements this game have been going pretty, pretty well, I would say. Okay, so we got some more in uh, factories. What do we need? 400 days. 450 days. 175. And a place I don't care about. So, you know what? Let's go for two factories onto infantry equipment. I think that is completely acceptable. So Grand Battle Plan has been researched. We should have 2 times 100% on that, so making that pretty, pretty cheap for us. Cut this guy off from supplies. Uh, it's not working as well as I would like. Can we push down to here, help him out? You're at 69 again. You're in multiple combat. Well, some of you are in multiple combats. That makes my life a lot easier. You redeploy. And then that should resolve that issue. Where are you guys at? You have not even actually pushed away to your border here yet. You're really just like, you're actually just like not doing very well. Also, let's get a bit of infantry equipment. Okay, keep on pushing because the Ottoman Empire. I mean, it is like not, not doing good. Having a bad time, I would say. Where is, is your new capital still in Baghdad? No, your new capital is in Damascus. Damascus, I don't think, is even a core territory of yours. It might be, actually. I'm not too sure.
So you guys are looking pretty, pretty well here. You go take over those two ports. Okay, so you've been overrun. That works out nice for us. What other major uh, cities are there? I mean, there's a decent amount. But I think with all this, I think it's a good time to end this episode. So thank you very much for watching. My name is Anthem. If you enjoyed, give me a thumbs up. If not, you can always thumbs down. Watch more, subscribe, and goodbye.